Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Ray Smith. I am honored to be the uh, uh, lead counsel for the for Georgia's uh, <clears throat> for the President of the United States, Donald Mr. J. Smith, Trump. I tell you, it might be better if you stood at the witness stand uh, okay. right behind us, if sure. that's okay. No problem. Yeah. What number is that? Uh, podium. All right. Are we on? We're on. Okay. Good afternoon again. Uh, my name is Ray Smith. I am honored to be the uh, lead counsel in Georgia for Donald J. Trump, the President of the United States. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Vice Chairman, members of the committee, thank you for hearing us today to consider the issues, problems, concerns, irregularities, violations of the law, potential fraud, and the November 3rd, 2020 uh, election in the state of Georgia. This hearing is the tip of the iceberg. We are filing today a petition in the Fulton Superior Court contesting the results of the 2020 presidential election in Georgia. Because of the documented <coughs> results of the 2020 presidential election in Georgia, because, <coughs> excuse me, the irregularities and the abject failure of the Secretary of State of this uh, state and the counties to properly conduct of, of the election it is impossible, impossible, to certify the results of the 2020 presidential election. Normally, in an election contest under Georgia law, the remedy is a new election. That would certainly be possible remedy in the instance, and we are asking the court to order a new election. However, because the presidential election is actually a delegation of your constitutional duties as a legislature, you as a Georgia legislature are the body that is to choose the presidential electors. As you're aware, the United States Constitution states, quote, each state shall appoint in such manner as the legislature thereof may direct a number of electors equal to the number, <clears throat> the whole number of senators and representatives to which the state may be entitled in Congress. And in Georgia, of course, that's 16. The United States Constitution, Article 2, Section 1. The Georgia legislature has established the election code for the state of Georgia, specifying the time, place, and manner of conducting federal elections, including the 2020 presidential election. But when is here the election code was ignored and wholly disregarded, the legislature cannot rely on the results of that flawed process. Congress has provided for that eventuality. Title III of the United States Code, Section 2, provides whenever any state has held an election for the purpose of choosing electors and has failed to make a choice on the day prescribed by law, the electors may be appointed on a subsequent day in such a manner as the legislature of such state may direct, end of quote. In other words, because the November 3rd, 2020 general election was so fraught with error, violations of law, lack of uniformity across the state, it is the legislature, the legislature, that must choose the presidential electors, exactly as specified in the United States Constitution, federal law, and the Georgia Constitution of the state. Our election contest petition that we are filing today cites multiple violations of the election code of the state, several of which by themselves would reverse the outcome of this election. The margin of ostensible victory for former Vice President Biden is approximately 12,500 ballots. I say approximately because the margin has changed several times and is likely change again as a result of the current ongoing statutory recount. But we do, <clears throat> we do know that the margin is less than one half of 1% of the millions of votes cast in the presidential election in Georgia this year. What we are presenting to the court and to you today as the Georgia legislature are facts, facts. 2,506 felons voted illegally in Georgia. 66,248 underage and therefore ineligible people to illegally register to vote 
before their 17th birthday when the law requires 17 and a half years old. At least 2,423 individuals to vote who were not listed as registered. 1,043 individuals to cast ballots <clears throat> who had illegally registered to vote using a post office box. 4,926 individuals voted in Georgia who had registered to vote after their Georgia re voter registration date, thereby canceling their Georgia voter registration. 10,315 or more individuals to vote who are deceased by the time of the election. 395 individuals to vote in Georgia who had cast ballots in another state which is illegal in both states. 15,700 individuals to vote in Georgia who had filed a national change of address with the United States Postal Service prior to November 3rd, 2020. 40,279 individuals to vote who had moved across county lines at least 30 days prior to election day and who had failed to properly re-register to vote in their new county after moving, also in violation of Georgia law. The petition to con for contest will include affidavits of more than 100, 100 Georgia voters sworn under penalty of perjury, attesting to and confirming multiple <coughs> violations of the Georgia election code. You will hear from several of those witnesses today. And then, we have the issue of outright lies and potential fraud. The actual results of legal ballots cast in the November 3rd, 2020 election in compliance with the Georgia Election Code cannot be known ever. Not by the Secretary of State, not by the governor downstairs, not by the voting public, and not by this Georgia legislature. That is why the election must be vacated and cannot be allowed to stand. And that is why the Georgia legislature must exercise and fulfill its duties under the United States Constitution, the Georgia Constitution, and Georgia law. The Georgia legislature must appoint the presidential electors to meet on December 14th, 2020. That is your duty to the people of Georgia and to the United States. You must determine the presidential elections, electors. Now I'd like to introduce um, Jackie uh, Pick, who is going to uh, introduce our uh, video and is going to narrate the video that we have to show to the, to the committee, please.